We're going to jump into the game that's the huge thorn in my side, Just King. I really, really want to finish a run on the hard mode. Having some trouble for sure. I did some practicing yesterday and discovered that there's a whole bunch of stuff I haven't unlocked yet. Not sure if it's going to help me with hard mode, but maybe. I haven't actually checked out the content that I unlocked, but I just realized that there is stuff to unlock, such as new characters, new items, things like that. So back to zone one. So here are the challenges. I started doing some of them, the ones that unlock specific items, I guess. So there's still a lot to do, but I thought I'd jump in with some of the new stuff and see what happens. I just realized that there's actually a hero pool. So funny enough, I actually didn't know that you could choose your hero pool, but it makes sense, especially with unlocked characters. So we have a couple of new ones here. The first one is Cupid, who is, it is a match, couple enemies and support allies through the power of love. Good at never misses, bad at kind of misses. Okay. Baby Don't Hurt Me is its flavor text. Cupid Arrow fires an arrow in a totally calculated direction that bounces around until hitting two targets. So it's random shooting, but it is infinite until it hits something. Okay, really, really nice. Targets hit, uh, take damage, and become lovers. Whenever two lovers come close to together, they become a couple for three seconds. Couples can't be lovers except the Cupid. He is always a lover. When two lovers come close to each other. Okay, so if you hit an enemy with an arrow, you should go close to them. Uh, love is in the air. Whenever a lover becomes a couple, heal all allies. Okay, so it has a weird healing mechanic. Gives a hero in the opposite party position. Bonus damage based on your intellect for six attacks. Bonus damage is 25% plus 200% of your intellect. Whenever love is in the air triggers, give the opposite hero one more stack. Okay, so you work with a very... I would put this person in the back, most likely, but maybe on the side as well. Um, yeah, that's really interesting. I, I would definitely try them. I also got the Slayer. So it's a Shock Trooper of the Golden Harpy. It's good at weakening enemies, defenses, bad at, requires skill to use. Okay. Throws a revolving axe that deals damage. The first target hit and uh, damage to secondaries, less damage to secondaries. The axe then returns in the slayer's direction. Okay, so they, they throw it in a direction it comes back. If the hero catches the returning axe, the skill cooldown resets. Interesting. Revolving axes reduce enemy armor by 0.5 up to negative 3 for multiple hits, or is it random in between? I'm not sure. Golden Claw, after catching six revolving axes in a row, your next throw will send off two additional smaller revolving axes that deal uh, additional damage. Um, interesting character. Not sure if I love it, especially with them needing to catch the axe. You really have to... Um, yeah, positioning might get a little bit tricky there. We also have the Biomancer who is a tank it seems like, but they don't have that much HP. Strange. Uh, Bio Arcane Mage specialized in creating artificial life. It's good at creating monstrosities, bad at working with low biomass. <laughs> okay. Um, her also Parasite that deals damage on hit and Damage every two seconds for six seconds. The Parasite collects uh, biomass on hit and 10 and damage more on end. Okay, wait, what? The Parasite collects 10 biomass on hit and 10 biomass more on end. The Biomancer can build up to 100 biomass to empower his, his creations. Consume 25 biomass to create an artificial creature adapted to the environment with specific amount of health and specific amount of strength okay consume 10 biomass to increase the crasis's size health strength by five percent of your um by five percent and then your intellect can also increase that interesting perfected evolution pick up to three ultimate forms to evolve crasis you have to select one option in the shop above the hero oh wow Okay, 
So wait a minute, I think that there is, correct me if I'm wrong here. No, 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 that's not it. Heroes pool, no, that's not it, challenges. So there's one where it's like Krasis, right? Grow every kind of Krasis to his maximum potential. So he has three different types and they can level up multiple times with his skill. Do we want to see how that looks like? I think I'm interested. Okay, let's reduce the amount of heroes here. Probably don't need you. I don't love the Paladin usually. Uh, I really don't like the Huntress to be honest with you either. And then everyone else is cool. Probably won't use the Druid though. Let's start off with the Biomancer. I also just discovered that this exists where you can reroll the items without having to go back and forth. You don't use strength, you use intellect, don't you? What does this do? Nope. Pauldron, nope. Dark Pauldron. This is a healing thing. No, no. This is great, except I don't think it actually works well from the get-go, right? You just get five base. Uh, reduces the... Uh, hmm, hmm, plus five intellect, it doesn't double it. Um, not a great starting item. But let's keep going. We can do some haste. What does this do again? Deals can only trigger once. So you deal extra damage. Let's try it out. So I actually don't know where this guy should be placed. But I'm going to put him at the front for now. We're on hard right now. Let's, uh, we gotta be kind of careful. There's so many elites, Jesus. Okay, we're just gonna have to deal with them. Let's try this guy out. Okay, so that's his, that's his skill where he's throwing a dude. He's summoning dudes now. Would it make sense to have a whole bunch of Biomancers? I'm sure it's been done before. Okay, we got the full prize. We have the Christmas and the Halloween event or special thing um, already activated. I'm kind of interested in having more than one Biomancer. But anyways, let's try out the Cupid too. Like I was saying, I think he belongs in the back. And maybe I will give you some cooldown. Why not? Give him some cooldown. Let's continue forth. So this is the Elite of the Slayer. Ye yeah, I'll try it out. Okay, let's see these arrows. Okay, so these two can be lovers. Are they lovers? Are they loving? How does... These arrows are going everywhere. So the, the Cupid is always a lover. So if you go close to him, I'm going to have to read the description again. Whenever a lover becomes a couple, heal all allies for a certain amount of HP. I'm not seeing that happen, but I, I might be doing it completely wrong. We're going to keep going down the Cupid route. Why not? And then we're just going to keep going here. So he's a lover right now. He has a little pink heart. Okay, these guys got the these guys got the hearts around them. Does that do anything? It does. Okay. So should the cupid actually be at the front? Because then they can just like go like that and heal themselves, you know? Or heal everybody. They're kind of squishy though, so I don't know if that's a good idea. Kind of a strange interaction. Yeah, I, I don't think the Cupid should be at the front, but I'm tempted to try it. All right, let's put you here. You have just as much health as this guy does though. Maybe I'll switch them. Let's try it out. Here, you can go on the side, why not? 
Actually, no. Let, let's put you there for now. Okay, I wanted to try two Biomancers. Let's try it out. And then we can decide if the Cupid actually does work at the front or not. And if not, then we can try someone else. Maybe we can put a Slayer in there and try him out. And just try all new characters here. Then we have no tank. Uh, I don't know. Okay, let's 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 move forward and see what happens with this. We're fighting an elite. This could be a really bad idea. But hey, here we are. Okay, there is a slayer and he's throwing around his thing. We are taking a bunch of damage. But you know it kind of works. We're healing a lot. At least with the two woodland, we have the thing in the middle. Okay. Come on guys, get him. The multiple summons is unbelievably good. It's unbelievably good for keeping the attention off of us at least. Are we healing? It's hard to tell where we're getting the source of healing because the thing in the middle will heal us as well. Hey, come on. Nope. So the enemies just stay still when they're throwing their things as slayers. Oh! Oh no! Oh yeah, right! Get out of here! This is not gonna work out. Or maybe. Maybe if we get enough, enough summons out there, it could work out. It's gonna be a slow burn though. Okay, let's stay around this thing because it heals us. Nope! Oh god. Okay, yeah, just... We're gonna mulligan that. <sighs> I wanna kinda try the Slayer now. Let's try the Slayer. Let's get some good items first. So you're strength-based, aren't you? Yes, you are. What does this do? Eel Lover. Let's try it out. That paired with a medkit is pretty cool. And then we can go... We're gonna have to fight an elite pretty quick, no matter what, unless we go this way. I'll decide after this. Yeah, catching it isn't so hard. Like, he's catching it automatically almost. I don't see any problem with catching that. Like, if I'm swinging around wildly, it's kind of crazy. But otherwise, like, you're usually keeping somewhat stationary, right? Doesn't require that much skill to get it done, in my opinion. Okay, get him, get him. What the hell, two points? Come on, you can do better than that. He's kind of weak. He's He is more of a support. In my opinion, I feel like, like he's more of a support character. All right, Biomancer, you're up again, buddy. Um... Who is going to be better <laughs> at the front? I feel like we need someone different at the front. But hey, we're going to keep it like that for now. Let's keep it rolling. I think I will go for the Elite. I'll go this way just in case I change my mind. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Look at that. Crazy amounts of damage. Not damage, but crazy amounts of hitting going on. He's just throwing them so fast. How did I throw them so fast? Is it hitting the edge? Oh, I missed it there. Shoot. Oh, the cooldown is redonkulous if you miss catching it, which is fair enough. Uh, I don't want a additional Slayer. So you know what? Going over there. You doing that, and we're going. We still have the option to go elite. Okay, let's back up, back up, back up, back up. Yeah, I really love the, the companions that we're spawning because they take aggro and they're pretty freaking tanky. I don't know, I'm not having trouble keeping them alive. I'm not really focusing on it either, so it's just happening. See, look at that little guy. 
He's just taking all those hits. He's surviving it for a long time. We can just focus on Krampus if we want to, although that's not smart. Okay, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, don't die, though. Don't die, though! Okay, King, you gotta tank. The King's gotta tank for a bit. Bark skin. Okay, cool. We did it. MVP is you. Very nice. All right, we could use the captain. Captain is pretty cool. Capitan. Yes, sir. Let's reroll. Okay, okay. Let's try this out. Let's try Biomancer over here. I am going to give you... Are you based on int? You are based on intellect, my friend. Uh, I'm going to give you some intellect. I will lock this up just because I want that other Biomancer because we have two now. So getting more of him is going to be very, very relevant. Let's try the Elite. Let's try it out. Jesus. Okay, we gotta be careful. Okay, come on. Why are these Elite fights so, so hard compared to the normal ones? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Bomb answer is almost dead. Okay. Now our captain's dead. Wow. What the frick? Why is this the way it is? Like, I'm, I'm convinced that you should not go into any elite fight at all, but that just sucks for me because I love elite fights. All right, um, I actually don't have that Halloween thing turned on, do I? <laughs> I know those are even harder than elite fights, but I can't resist. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if I love the Slayer. I do like the Biomancer for sure. So now after giving those two a try, let's get something cool. Um, you know, Poltergeist could be okay. Here, let's try, actually, I don't like the other item. Eh. Okay, intelligence, no, the other thing isn't good. What is this again? Blazing helmet, doesn't really help at the beginning that much. Oh, the Ravens thing. Does that even matter for you? What if you get a whole bunch of intelligence? Okay, wait, what if you get a whole bunch of strength? It's plus 40, plus 40? Okay, we'll try it. Oh, the glass shiv sucks, though. Okay, I'm being super picky, but... Oh, wait a minute. What if you do this, bottomless lightning? With the thing that he throws, I'm wondering if that's going to be, like, totally goaded. Uh... God, you really can't avoid the elites. I'm going to go this way and not fight an elite this time, see if it helps. Okay, so we have electricity going on. Basically doubling his DPS. I wonder if every hit on every enemy will send out lightning. We're definitely going to try it out. It looks like there's a short cooldown of like a very small amount of seconds, like a fraction of a second of a cooldown. Uh, I'm guessing that's what's happening at least. Berserker, not a great tank in hard mode, to be honest. Bard, not sure if that's going to help. <laughs> Another Slayer. Maybe we can level him up at the very least. Actually, let's be smart and let's get a healer going. Do this. Yeah, I haven't put much thought into team composition outside of just trying things. So that's probably a little bit why, a little bit of the reason why I'm not doing as well as I should be. Okay, he's obviously killing it. Cupid? I don't love Cupid. He's also just a healer, right? For six attacks. Love is in the air. Um, 
Yeah, Hot Hand's a rusher. He's a rusher at least. Maybe we can do something like this for now. And then we can figure out tanking later. Yeah, I gotta unlock all the characters to figure out a little bit more as to what really works together. And maybe start taking a look at archetypes to see how we can maximize those bonuses as well, because I definitely haven't been looking at that. Oh, I love it. I love it. Oh, we didn't catch it. Damn it. Uh, okay. <laughs> Damn it. I forgot I wanted to use the Biomancer. Who's the tankiest here? No one's a tank. All of you are squishy. I can't take you, Biomancer. Sorry, bud. I can take you, though. Oh, Hoplite's pretty damn strong. All right, welcome to the team as a pseudo tank. Good luck, buddy. I wish you all the luck in the world. Never use the Hoplite as a tank. Don't think it's supposed to happen, but he's naturally pretty tanky. Yeah, take the hits. Take the hits. Damn it. Slayer, go! Okay. Maybe this electricity thing is once per attack. Like, it only activates one per attack, which be, would be totally fair. Uh, let's see. Everything's good. I'm going to try the pumpkin thing, but that might be my demise. Oh, come on. I didn't catch that. Yeah, I'd say... Ooh, ooh. Okay, tank. I'd say it's easier to catch the thing if he's at the front, for sure. What the frick? You're healing yourself? Bastard. Okay, we have to be careful. Concentration is at a maximum right now. Oh my god. Why are you stuck? <laughs> Terrible. Full prize, thank god. Okay, that was sketchy for a little bit. Yo, hit him. Throw your thing? Jesus. Okay, so we need some upgrades. You will almost be all the way leveled. You're gonna go like that. You know what? Who wants the hourglass? I should really give it to you, but I want to give it to you. Oh, shoot, I can't afford it. Of course. All right, pumpkin's coming up, so let's do good here. Jeez. Okay. Let him heal. Let him heal. Oh, they are critting for a mad amount of damage. Oh my goodness. Okay, king tank. Tank it up, king. Oh, what? Okay. Yeah, this is not going to work out. This is not going to work out. Why not? Uh, can someone please help me? Like, what, what should I be using to just, like, have better runs? It's very, 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 very strange. Strength, strength to party. Okay. Is it all about the starting item? Okay, we're going back to Biomancer. Eel liver with Biomancer could have been good. Uh, let me think. Wait a minute. Are you based on strength? You heal based on intellect, but you do damage based on strength. Because I'm wondering if this would work Bottomless Lightning would work with it. Ne Necronomic Crown is pretty cool as well. But you need someone with high health for it to be really, really good. Hmm. Not sure if I'm going to do that. Strength, strength. What does this do? Haste. Okay, no. I already know what that does. They really want me to take that bottomless lightning. Okay. Nope, glass shift is crap. 
Like if the green item could always be medkit, that would be great. Because that's what I want. Is eel lever and then blue pinwheel. What does this do again? When reduced to zero, heal self 100. Don't love it. Poltergeist is cool. Okay, let's try you with the poltergeist. The king doesn't really need that item, but whatever. Holy crap. Okay, we're we're definitely gonna reach some issues here. <laughs> let's go for this. I'm wondering if poltergeist with this DOT thing, if every tick activates that poltergeist or has the chance to activate the poltergeist. Yo, get out of here. Oh, or if our dog things can activate it. Looks like it can. One of the two can, at least. Let's chase him down. Okay. Hit Krampus. There you go. We're good. We're good. Oops. Okay, slow death, but it happened. Hmm. Any of these people I'm interested in? Let's maybe try... Let's try the ranger, too. You can stick the ranger in here, and then what can happen is our... Our Biomancer's summons will tank. And then the wolves will attack because they seem stronger. But they just die really, really quick. Okay, let's see. Get your wolves out. Get your wolves out. Oh, the ranger has a huge cooldown on the dogs. But the dogs are freaking strong. Oh, wait, the Biomancer's things have ranged attacks. Okay, so that doesn't work as well as I thought it would be. Hmm. We should really get a tank. I don't know if I love the knight, though. Okay, let's reroll this. Ew. Yeah, let's, let's continue going. We got an elite fight for sure next, so that kind of sucks. We're just playing around here. We're trying to prove theories. Okay, come on. That's right. Okay, positioning is everything. Get him, wolf! Okay, so we want to stay at a distance from our wolf things. Hmm. So how often can we summon the Biomancer's things? Oh, we got some wolves. Interception, interception. Because here's the thing, if we can have enough summons out there, we could just have the summons tank if it's not too crazy. But that's, uh, that's actually asking for a lot. <laughs> All right, here we go. Biomancer again. I'm very tempted to go like this. Oh, we don't have a tank. I can't use a Hoplite again, can I? Or maybe I can. All right, Hoplite, don't let me down. God, I don't know which one I want to fight. Ugh, let's go this way. Oh god, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Okay, hoplite at the front. Throw your spears. Okay, it's working. Look at that. Hey, hey, don't hit me. What the frick is wrong with you? Okay, let's uh, try to get everyone corralled up. Ew. Okay, once they're focused on everything else, we go in for the kill. Is there a tank that does range? Like, even more range than Hoplite? Okay. Okay! Yep, don't let the Hoplite die. 
Let's go for Krampus for a sec. Get Krampus. Oh, he just disappeared. Hey, look at that. We survived pretty well there. Ooh, bottomless lightning. Will this activate on your dogs? You attack the fastest, probably. It makes the most sense on him because it's strength based. Uh, you need the chocolate. I'm going to give this to you. Oh, we don't need any of that. So let's refresh and we can upgrade the hoppy. You know what? Same strategy. Let's go. Okay, hold on. The lightning's kind of awesome, but not fully needed. Will this heal me? Okay, one more flower and we get a full heal, basically. So let's save that flower for a rainy day. Yeah, this this chicken build is working well. Chicken as in we're not really pursuing things aggressively. Okay, I'm scared. Get that. Oh god. Okay, back, 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 back. Behold my creation. Yeah, I wish the hoplite was a little bit more ranged. He throws his spear every once in a while. But I really wish he had a lot of ranged attacks. That would work a lot better. But overall, this is this is working well. Okay, back up. Back up. I have never had such such easy elite fights. Okay, so you're gonna take this. Hop, Hoppy is going to upgrade. And then we can give the intellect to you. You're strength based too, right? Yes, I think. Oh, you also do some intellect stuff. Interesting. Um, heal one every second. That makes the most sense for you. I don't like this thing. This also makes the most sense for you. And then we can maybe do an hourglass for... I want it for you as well, but it would make more sense on someone else. Here, let's just give it to you. 1.51, 0.5. Okay, you're always shooting a bow. Does bottomless lightning make more sense on you then? Ah, screw it. Screw it. Yeah, if the Hoplite's doing melee attacks, it the lightning definitely makes more sense on him. Whoa, this bard is going crazy. Okay, let's start stabbing Krampus. That makes a lot of sense for me to do because then that will just spread the damage around. To everyone else from Bottomless Lightning. Love it. Love it. Woohoo! Okay, so we have another Hoplite. Huntress, or whatever your name is. Ranger. 15% uh, haste for. Sure. One coin. I'll give it up. Lots of enemies. Come on, get that lightning out there, bro. It's happening, it's happening. Okay, let's start stabbing. Stabby, stabby. Zip. Sanctuary restored. We'll get him with lightning. Get Krampus. Yes, we did. Yo, this is sick. Okay, so he's going to level up from just being MVP. It seems like you get one point per level, per battle that you're MVP. I kind of just realized that. Okay, so we're kind of poor. We can we can give up some, some cash for you. Why not? 
We got a pumpkin spooky runes next. This is where we're really going to get challenged. Oh. So far, so good. Oh, God. Don't. Oh, that hurt. Yo, if we can get through this, I'm going to have a huge amount of confidence for the rest of the run. And so far, I think I can show a little confidence. It's pretty good. These spooky runes do have a lot of waves, so it's not even close to over yet. <laughs> but hey. Showing signs of success. Gotta celebrate those little moments. Ooh. Yeah, I like it when I can stand behind the wolves or the other summons and I just got the hoplite stab in them. Get out of here. Oh, dodge. So cool. Oh, damn it. It's also awesome that we've been getting so many chocolate bars because our hoplite's really, really tanky, I think. But he ain't scared of nothing. Whoa! Yeah, he's taking hits. He doesn't even care. Give me that Christmas bulb. Okay, now we're taking decent damage. Get over here. Alright, get out of here. Oof! I think I almost got hit real hard there. Hmm. Well, you can definitely have this. Oh, I forgot I had you. Should we give it to him? Maybe I will. Switch that out. We don't really need Tesla's wrench, but I'll give it to someone if they have an extra space. Let's do that. Uh, let's buy you for sure. And then we have strength candy. I'm wondering if I give it to my ranger or my hoplite, because my hoplite is actually doing most of my damage and it empowers the lightning. Oh, you're getting the candy for sure. Intellect, I'm gonna give it to you. You're my stronger one right now. And then I'm gonna reroll once. Ooh. Okay, I really want that. I'll lock it up. I will also buy this as well, but I, I do want the Necronomicron. Um, it makes them a little bit more squishy. It will definitely make him a little bit more squishy. But hey, what can you do? Uh, let's go. Retro Mancer's Armor. So you lose all armor, but you do deal damage to nearby enemies. This one is always a quick sell for me. I, I just feel like it's a little bit risky or really risky, I should say. Uh, so uh, I'm going to keep that ring just in case I need it. Just because we don't have any healing. <laughs> we have no healers. We just have like damage prevention tactics. Uh, Academy. You know what? That's a really good item too. Let's go that way. And then we're gonna proceed. Oh shoot. Elite fights, question marks everywhere. I kind of want to go for this. Let's go that way. I guess our source of healing is the consistent healing from having woodland archetype. Oh my god. Which is giving us this tree thing in the middle. It is not healing fast enough though. We're gonna get traps. Yeah, there's way too many traps right now. Okay, let's be careful. Krampus is secondary. I do want to get him down, but... Lots of stuff happening on the screen here. Okay, let's get stabbing. Let's get to stabbing. Yes! There we go. Love it, love it. Woof! Easy peasy! We're almost at max 
Christmas tree level or whatever you want to call it. Health always goes to you. Haste, I'll give some to you. A lot of these items I don't really need. Yeah, you're not healing fast enough. I wonder if I take away his haste and do some healing stuff, but it's a really crappy heal. I don't think I'm going to use this. I don't think I'm going to use this. I don't think I'm going to use this. I mean, you could hold this if you wanted to. Uh, Hoplite's already full. So we need Woodland and Tough only. I'm going to get you to level 3 ASAP. And then I still have 8. Woodland and Tough. Nope, no one's Woodland and Tough. Here's 7 Strength. You should have some Strength. Wicked Crab could be okay too. Let's just continue forward though. Ooh. Jump. You jump on the one runaway wagon. Let's try it out. We got high quality baguette. I forgot about this item. He has to be on the right protagonist to get everything. Everyone in your party gets some stuff. Um, that kind of sucks. I don't want him on the right. But I mean, I guess I can turn everything so it just makes sense. <laughs> like if I just do this and now he's on the right and then give this to him. What is it? Seven strength. Ugh. Okay, fine. Let's try it out. Could be the biggest mistake of my life. Here's some healing. Here's double healing. What are you again? Woodland tough. Tough it out. Strategist will get haste. Uh, I will give it to you. Oh wait, I couldn't buy that second one? Uh, okay, I'll, I'll sell this, I'll sell this, I'll sell this, and I'll go like this. Let's try this out. This might be really, really weird. Another treasure box, I forgot. Unleashed Tome. Tons of intellect. Love it. Do you need intellect? He will eventually need it. Uh, do we have a... Alright, so we can upgrade him. So now he can have a Devourer Mutation. He is 100% of the Biomancer's health and armor. Um, okay, so he's more of a tank. Consume 50 Biomass to deal 14 damage and heal self. Interesting. This one spawns many more Chrysillings. The Crisis inherits 100% of the health and haste. Oh, okay. Consume 20 Biomass to spawn a Chrysling with 10 health and 1 strength. That fire chitin, chitin darts and is adapted to the environment. Interesting. This is a powerful toxin, so it inherits health and intellect. Deal seven da damage and poison some. Interesting. The poison cloud. And it also has a poison cloud. Okay, I really like the sound of the one that spawns more of them. Maybe I'll have this guy do something different. But you, most of your items are intellect, so it actually makes sense to do this one. Okay, well, we are moving on, I think. Yep. Let's see how it turns out. Right, we want the hoplite over here. So now my positioning is really, really weird and awkward. Not so much, you get used to it. Whoa, is that mine? Is that my dude? He's huge! Holy crap, I can't believe the things that I'm summoning. Okay, are those poison spots mine? I, I can't remember now. I think they are. Holy moly. Overpowered much? Just a crazy amount. Okay, so we also have eel liver. I want the eel liver for somebody. 50% haste. Let, let's give it to you. Here, have this. Good luck. We'll keep these two just in case this guy needs it. We will not need a reroll, so let's go. Wait a minute, I have something over here. Haste and health. Uh, yeah, you can have some haste, sure. 
So do we want to fight a dude that throws stuff? Do we want to fight more elites or have more of these events? I think I'm going to do the elites. Okay, Hoplite, don't let me down. Oh my goodness. This could be it, everybody. I shouldn't get too confident because whenever I get confident, I get, uh, I get killed. But damn, does it feel good to kill things quickly on these battles. Do, 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 do. This is an elite battle too. I was struggling with these so much before. And now they're a piece of cake. Yeah, I think our tree is fully upgraded already. You get all the health. There's a little bit of health there. We don't need you very much. Glass Shiv, get the frick out of here. Uh, yeah, I don't need you either. Rune Saber, what does this do again? For each non-ally hero, gain one intellect. Summons three fleeting ghosts. Okay, uh, that's a really good item. Maybe Poltergeist isn't needed as much. And the Academy Banner, honestly, is kind of crap too. So let's just go like this. You're going to now hold the Academy Banner. You are going to hold this thing for intellect. And that is that. You can also take some of this. Yeah, I think I like that. What does this do? Yeah, sure. I'll give it to you. Let's continue. You have nine summons. We get even more, I think. Yikes. Oh, right. Wrong tank. Okay. Our hoplite is kind of dead. Yikes. 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 No, 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 no. Not our Biomancer. Where are these lilies? There's one. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Collect this up. Well, these are as a tanky. These knights or whatever. Okay, we're gonna try to battle them from afar. Yeah, that's good. Thanks for laying all those traps, Huntress. Ranger, whatever you're called. Yep. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Okay, so you're woodland tough. Okay, at least we can use you for that. And then you give us some haste. I'm going to give the haste uh, um, to you. <laughs> I don't know who to give it to. Academy banner once again. Even more intellect for the group. Uh, that's it's probably better than this. Okay, let's just hold it. He has two of them now. I didn't even realize. Um, yeah, maybe that wasn't so smart. Whatever. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah, I definitely want to get the our second Biomancer to do the super spawning one. Just because we have that item that gives us more power per um, spawn that we have. I wonder if the other smaller spawns count towards that. We'll see, we'll see. Give me that. Oh, I used the wrong character to approach that. See, that tripped me up. I knew it was going to trip me up at some point. Okay, let's get this other flower. I, for for I forgot for a second that my hoplite tank was in the right position. Turned out okay. It's fine. Okay, so you need this and you're done. So I'm going to do the super spawning one because you are a cooldown dude anyways. Okay, cool. We're good to roll. Um, I don't think I need even more academy banner, so I'm just going to skip. Let's go for the elite. Okay, just remember your hoplite is on the right. Where's our super spawner? I want to see it work. Oh, I see it. It's all this stuff over here. 
right? That's ours, right? Yep, I think so. And I'm not sure. Oh yeah, it does count towards that item that we have, the broken blade thing. Sweet. I don't even know what's going on. There's so much on the screen. Trap set, trap set. Oops, I just sold the decoration, but I don't think it matters. Chocolate bar for you, intellect for you. And then all this is absolute garbo. We got some intellect on the shop here. Uh, I think I might give out this poltergeist because poltergeist is, I don't think it really matters. Vine ring, does this matter? Will this help with these things? Maybe I'll save the nine bucks. I don't think it's super, super needed. Uh, let's reroll. Sure, I'll take a piggy bank. What does this do again? Oh, this gives you strength. I should totally use that. Do you need less cooldown? The blade thing would be good on the hoplite too, I think. But I'm going to put it on our ranger for now. because Hoplite is still doing that bottomless lightning stuff. But yeah, this, this summon build or Biomancer driven build is doing amazing. Really cool. Really, really cool. I love it. Yeah, I think the Biomancer helps a lot. Now this can all change during the final boss fight like it did last time. This is army versus army. I don't even know how that ended there. Okay, Sigil of Bravery. You deal 20% increased damage against close enemies and they deal 20% less damage to you. Don't love it. Ugh, yeah, I'm not going to spend money on rerolls. Um, I'd love to do a spooky runes then in Elite. Let's see if it works. Oh, 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 oh. You gotta get out of the way of the explosions for sure. Yeah, we have so many summons that we don't really need to worry about things coming that close to us. It's a beautiful situation. Whoa! Okay, let's pick up this last flower as we have the chance to. Okay, back it up. Yo, 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 yo. Oh, 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 oh. Almost got ganked. Okay. Yee. I love it. Okay, so this is a bunch of haste. You work the best with haste. So you're just gonna get a whole bunch of it. Strength, I'm gonna give it to our hoplite. Give me something good. On hit, deal around your target. Hmm. I think usually that's a pretty decent item, but I don't want it right now. Shattered Saber showed up once again. Ugh. Oh, I really want to give it to him, but I can't give it up the summons and I really I want it so we can power the bottomless lightning So we usually have like 10 to 13 summons do we want to give up The baguette I'm gonna put the baguette on you right now if this turns out to give us a lot less defense or survivability then I might put it back up on him We'll see. Is the lightning worth it? I really can't tell there's so much going on. But we're not dying, so I mean, that's a good sign. Right? Is damage still king in this game? Oh, oh, okay. Maybe we need the baguette. Okay, I'm going to put the baguette back on him. Yikes. 
Yeah, that, that was a little bit too close for comfort. Okay, so haste. You're hasty. You're intellecty. Okay, get that baguette back on this guy. And then you can have even more strength if you want it. Okay, let me put this here. You're gonna put even more strength on yourself. Here's another ruined saber, which if I just sell this off, you can afford and put it right here. Now you have a super amount of intellect. Sell this off, sell this off, sell this off. We can go to sleep and collect our gifties. 40 health. We don't really need it. Four shield, we don't really need it. Goodwin boots, front only. While above 45 gains seven armor, while 55 gains speed. Don't love it. We're selling it all off. Let's get some of this going on and we're just gonna eat some food. Yeah, don't need any of that. So let's keep buying stuff and just make food out of it. Might as well just reroll one more time. This is gonna be a lot of food, but I am over preparing myself for this battle. I am tired of losing, so this is why I'm doing this. I usually don't go to this extent to sell and uh, maximize my last purchase, but my dudes, I have to win. We're so close, You're, you do good with haste. We're so close that I, I really just don't wanna lose this one. Four rusher. Oops, I wish there was an easier way to do this. Is there? Is there a button I haven't discovered yet? So this is intellect and strength. It's a really small amount. Uh, wait, what was that? Haste? Haste and health, sure. I don't know what this is, you can just eat it. Okay, let's go. This is it, moment of truth. Hard mode, zone one, let's go. Okay, there's a Berserker. Whoa, he got wrecked. I'm still scared of Berserkers because they have that undying mode. Okay, we're going to sneak past here while we can. Yep, we're good, we're good. Ah, ah, ah. Okay. Oh, my mouse is in a really bad position there. Get this flower, we have consistent healing now. My creation. This is it. This is it, bring it on Druid. Oh, get wrecked. Oh, he's getting wrecked. Okay, DPS is high. DPS is very convincing. DPS is very convincing. We're not taking that much damage. This is it. This is it. Oh, I'll take your 40 damage. I don't care. Yo! Oh, he just killed two of our guys. Oh my god. I... Okay. Got a little sketchy there. I have to admit. But damn, doesn't it feel good. First hard mode win. Zone 1. Thank the Lord. Thank the freaking Lord. Did I achieve anything? I guess not. It's just a victory straight up, right? Well, that's one off of the list. Finally got a hard mode win. Wow, it feels really good. I guess, I guess we just can't do random stuff with our team and try to win. It makes a lot of sense. We should be above that grade now and this win really proves that you do need to think about your team composition a little bit more and your positioning during the battles and stuff like that. But we're going to go back and try zone two next. I think that I'll probably go through and unlock a couple more characters. They really, really did help this time. So um, I guess I was kind of wrong thinking that I could just use the normal characters without unlocking too much and just unlock as we go. They really are more useful for more experienced players. So Hard mode really, really does call for some of those additional items and characters that you unlock. So yeah, 
Hopefully you did like what you saw here in the video and enjoyed it in some way. If you did, leave a like, subscribe to see more. I play a lot of roguelites on the channel, so if you're into that, consider subscribing. Also leave a comment, let me know what you think about the game, the gameplay, the video, or if there's something that you would like to see on the channel, please let me know there as well. And once again, thanks again for joining in today. I'll see you again soon. Peace out.